Welcome, friends. I am Luxon Mark, and I'm so happy to finally be able to bring to you a new officially hosted event, Vault Raid. In case you've somehow missed all the talk about our new event, Vault Raid is a free-for-all, objective-based event. Your goal is to steal a massive data bank from a disabled transport, requiring you to make close-range contact with that transport while preventing anyone else from obtaining the data you are trying to take. Winners, yes, winners plural, receive payment from a company that wishes to crack that data apart. In essence, you are working as a middleman in Vendetta Online's corporate warfare. So, let's walk through a pilot's perspective of attending Vault Raid. Vault Raid will be announced in general chat, with an approximate location and possibly a request for signups for a defending role. We'll get to that in a bit. But for anyone wishing to participate as a raider, all you want to do is just be in the correct system when the event begins. The Vault's Sector location will be announced and the event will begin. As you warp into the Sector, you will be informed of your role, along with some warnings and information. First, you will be assigned as a raider. Your goal is to sit within hacking range of the transport, which will be given to you, and to collect Vault data. That valid range will be given. Anywhere within this range has the same collection rate, however, so don't feel obligated to sit as close to the transport as possible. Finally, you'll be told about the penalties of death and leaving the sector. At this point, you are free to do what you like. Try to sit within the objective's range and hack, or focus on bringing down other raiders and try to steal a portion of their progress. Or both. Or neither. Bring whatever ship, setup, or allies that you want, including hired or manufactured help from NPCs, such as the Orion uh, Anti-Pirate Squadron or the Furies. There we go. As you gain download progress, you will be notified of where you are at, as well as your position compared to others' progress. The same will happen every time a kill is recorded for you. Once you reach a complete download, however, any actions you take stop being recorded. At this point, your role is done. You can continue to harass the other raiders, or leave the sector. Once the event time limit is reached, then prizes of for all pilots are calculated and sent out. Speaking of prizes, prizes for Vault Raid generally follow a standard format. There will be two matching prize pools. The pilot who first downloads the entire Vault gets the entirety of one pool, while all other pilots who were successful in obtaining the vault afterwards will get an even split of the second pool, and additional prizes might be added for individual achievements, such as highest kill count, but they're not guaranteed, don't count on it. Now, I had mentioned the ability to register your role for the event earlier in the video. This is mainly for spectator and defender role sign-up, and it won't always be available. Spectators should be self-explanatory, but defenders are charged with trying to prevent any raider from obtaining the vault. Signing up as a defender will prevent you from being able to hack the vault, but will instead periodically inform you of others' download progress, and you will earn a limited commission per raider kill. If no raider manages to collect the vault when the time limit is reached, all defenders get a bonus. If role signups are enabled, up to six people can sign up as defenders and will be grouped with the transport directly. Now, I understand that had to be a lot to take in, but trust me, I believe it's my best event so far, and I sincerely hope you'll come by to try it out. Once you have, I'm open to suggestions on how to fine-tune the event, either here or on the forums, either is fine. While you're at it, hit that subscribe button to get notified for future news, events, and tutorials. I hope you enjoyed watching.